do that inventory. for it to come on. I should have been. I said it. Oh, it's been a minute. Um, we're uh, back in the repair zone. So family went home. It's two weeks of uh, family being around. And uh, so I couldn't really do any repair stuff because I don't think it would have been fun for him to watch me repair games as much as it is for everybody else because it's so much fun watching somebody repair machines. Um, but he's gone now, so I'm back to repair, and boy, do we got a lot lined up now. Uh, so we're working on the hyperball still. There will be a point that I have to stop because um, I'm either gonna get stuck or I'm waiting on parts. Uh, the other thing is that we got new machines. We got a Superman. Uh, mainly working but there's still stuff to go through on that we got a 1961 spaceship uh, which technically was working but it needs all the uh, love in the world it needs to get a new power cord grounded properly um, clean all the parts paint job all that kind of stuff so uh, a lot to do on there we also are going to still work on baby pack we're going to work on devil's dare um, this weekend I'm picking up a uh, parts cabinet of gauntlet and I'm going to try to repair a gauntlet. I know it's not a pinball but we do arcade games too so arcade games. Um, I might be doing some of those repairs on here. That'd be interesting. It's been a while since I repaired an arcade game. Um, what else? Uh, hopefully we'll be able to open here in the next couple months or so please so the arcade can start taking in money because I am down. Uh, I just spent we spent $900 on a new play field for Star Trek, which basically I spent $900. My credit card spent $900. Um, and then I also just bought $800 worth of monitor parts for XY monitors. So I'm down $1,700 uh, that I don't have in the arcade that if the arcade could get opened up, it could at least start to pay me back for some of that. Uh, so there's all that to do. Um, of course we could do some more playing streams, but everybody else is playing. Somebody's got to work on these things. I've got to keep working, but we I need to go back and I need to figure out what's happening with this hyperball because we're stuck right now. I'm I, if I remember correctly, it's been a while. Um, we're stuck with having a problem in our displays. And I think I kind of narrowed it down, but we're going to have to narrow it down again. Um, and go over all that kind of stuff and the book kind of tells you how to find those kind of things but I don't know it may not help me uh, let's go over here to this screen and we got our main stuff over here Playfield is back doesn't seem to be as lined up as before but 
you know, whatever. We're not looking at the playing field too much. I don't like being in both the shots, though. That's crazy. All right, let me zoom in to what we're going to be looking at here. All right, so... Yeah, it's going to end up being one of those things. The displays are function are are controlled down here. So all of this area here deals with the displays on this board and then up here also deals with the displays on this board. Uh, and it gives you a way to track it down. Of course there's the board on the back of the back box too, but we narrowed it down. I believe I narrowed it down to being in here. And I bought a new or new to us driver board and I thought it was complete and it's not. It's missing some parts. So it's not a complete driver board. I can't just swap it out. Um, but I do want to find, see if I can find this fault for real. And if we have to, try to go down into this book here, which it tells you how to do all this stuff, but uh, it starts getting into f weird algebra start s stuff. And you're just like, well, if A plus B equals like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm hoping that maybe I'm just getting a bad connection. I tested the connections from here. They go back up to this board. So this one right here comes up and goes here, or it comes from here and goes to here. I'm not quite sure which way the path is. I think this is first and it goes to here. But when I started taking stuff apart to find the fault, I didn't take apart the two separate ones up here, which I think I wanna to try to do in the diagnosing of the problems. Um, so remembering what's what happened here, oops, I got all of these kind of hanging off, but that's okay. So we have the two score, uh, two scores, two scores, two four scores in seven years ago. So these guys are lighting up, but they're lighting up with the zeros in the wrong spot, and then there's extra characters going on down here, and pulling the plugs, uh, we're tracing where it is. So that's basically what I need to do but uh, yeah we've had we've had time off so now my brain has to get right back into this and it would be great to just play all the time because you know playing's a lot more fun than fixing but somebody's got to fix it and it's me also I've been working on my weight a little bit I've been feeling a lot better Lost 14 pounds so far. Going to get down hopefully another 20, 30 pounds. Because, hey, I found it was starting to get a little harder to uh, move some of these things. I'm like, that's not good. These things are heavy and I can't have that going on. So I need to make myself good. Um, all right, giggity. I got the inventories done. Brent's got the inventories done, so that's great. I'm going to get my tickets and then I'm going to. Hamana Hamana? Do a well, I gotta do a bunch of bills and all right. sending stuff so off. Let's see where we're at. Reevaluate where we are. So that one always comes on right. That one's right. Blocking. You are. That one's right. Wait, is it working now? Huh? Hey Pez. Good job, Brent. You got your inventories done. Nice. Wait. Did I need to just Put it away? I fixed it when you weren't here. You didn't fix anything. Is it fixing itself? I did the fonts. I just went, boom, yo! I fixed it. Nice. That's not a good thing, though. No, because it means you're probably going to give a shit later. Exactly. Uh, you just need Brent to be there. I do. Brent's my good luck charm. And now yeah. he's... Don't, don't do the dance. What? Right. Um, do the happy dance. All right, so let's do see... Uh, when something like that happens, when it just fixes itself, it doesn't fix itself. So we need to recreate the problem. And I don't want to do anything other than maybe we should just leave it on for a while. Because then we can determine whether or not it's a heat issue if after a while it starts to do it again. Right? Is that, is that what you agree with, Brent? I would think so, yeah. 
How you doing, Pez? It's been a minute. Oh, that's just interesting, though. This game is pretty, though. So Looking Jason came down. When's Pez coming to visit? Jacob. Jacob. I don't know. Pez. We, have, we have food. Yeah, sorry, been busy. Hey, I've been busy, too. I've, I've had family. We have munchies. Oh, yeah. Brent's like, hey, Pez, come down. We'll feed you. You get to play. We'll, get, we'll talk. We're not that far. Anyway. Hey! Mega Stumbler. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, well, my whole, my whole thing to do tonight was to, any closer to opening? Uh, Man, that's serious. Uh, short and sweet stream tonight. Shut up, shut up. Good night, everybody. No. Any closer to opening? Well, not by New Mexico standards, no. Yeah, we're still a red county. Hey, Fatwood, welcome back, and thank you. 100, 100 bits, Fatwood, thank you. We think uh, she's punishing the red counties. We don't know that for a fact. We don't know. We, it, it's, she might be punished. Yeah, our governor might be punishing red counties. I don't know. But, well, we're still in the red, and yet nobody knows anybody who's gotten it lately. You know? I don't know. Hopefully It's soon. a small town. Where I, I think that we'll be open. Uh, let's be safe. I know. Be, yeah, I want to be safe, but I just don't want to. There's safe, cautious, but then there's stupid and panicky. Yeah. Um, but... I would say within a month, she'll hit 25% on dining rooms. And I probably around the beginning, late uh, late spring, early summer, maybe May. And, and then know, there's reckless abandon. Yeah, there's yeah. May, maybe <laughs> May, June 1st, you know, somewhere around that. We've probably got a couple of months. I, I was being pessimistic and thinking it was going to be like July, August. But it, I well, think I'm minimal, maybe... I'm minimizing. I'm saying it'll be at least two or three months. But like hey, that. if we get that time, we got so many new games. Because they take so much time in between. If she goes 25% on dining rooms, it'll be two weeks before she even considers going to 50% or 100 yeah, or whatever. It's a two-week uh, yeah. circus for that, so yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking two months at least before we get to opening this. Because everything else got to be open. We're the last. We're bowling alleys and movie theaters. Everything else will be open. Yeah, for, for New Mexico, all the entertainment stuff is the last thing that gets to open. So, yeah. Hopefully soon. But, but when we do open, we'll have Superman. Uh, hopefully this will be done. Maybe Spaceship, uh, Devil's Dare. Yeah. Well, they really show you guys down the hard. Thing. <laughs> yeah. They're they're really. I say we're pretty strict. Really shut down. We are really. Yeah, we are shut down. We can't do anything. There's still no dining in down here. Yeah. But the restaurant's doing good, and the arcade doesn't need to make money. I need to because I spent <laughs> about seventeen hundred dollars on the arcade. Hey, go get the play field. Go get the play field. Oh, Bring that yeah. over here. All right. Um, while we're just kind of waiting for heat to happen, uh, let me set this up and see if we can get the problem to happen. Let's see the Star Trek. We're going to see. I'm going to bring it over. Hey, just rename Arcade Hospital or something, and they'll let you open. Fatwood, suggestions are very welcome. Uh, no, we're, we, we, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a freaking crazy anti-COVID person or whatever. I get it. But I still think there's acceptable parameters that should be done. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so while we're waiting for this to heat up and see if my problem comes back, Brent's going next door. It's still in the, it's still in the restaurant. We keep looking at it all the time. It looks pretty. Uh, our Star Trek play field is in. Um. There's going to be a lot of work to do that. So we got to do a play field swap. I've never done that before. Like Don't say you dropped it. I didn't. The wind. The wind didn't catch anything. The wind caught on the Put it the the in the box. Leave it in the box. Leave it in the box. Leave it in the box. At least the inner box or whatever. We don't need to. We don't need to take it out of the box. Don't take it out of the box. Ugh. What's in the box? What's in the box? Your girlfriend's head. Oh, oh! Look at the pretties. Turn that light off. Look at that. That is a CPR playfield 
Let me get my sunglasses here. Slide over here for a second. Uh, let me go over here real quick. Brand new, clear coated. Mwah! What they they said on the website, it's five layers of polyurethane on here. But it is absolutely freaking gorgeous. Look at the lights bouncing off. Yeah, the lights from Hyperball bouncing off of that. That's really cool. It is really, really, really good job. And I really like this. Uh, Oh, you can't see it in there. There it is. It's over there. It's got this genuine Bally's uh, holographic thing on here. So that's really freaking awesome, too. Detail is as you would want it to be. Just perfect. i got to be very careful when I install this thing. Yeah. we got to get a rotisserie. We don't have one. So we're either going to make a rotisserie or we're going to get a rotisserie. But, yeah. So that's your $900 there. When we open up and people get to come back in the dungeon, play a lot of games. Yeah. <laughs> we need to get our $900 yeah. back. Yeah. Oh. That would be worth it. It is. I hope that swap goes well for you guys. It's one thing that would really intimidate me. Um, I have it mapped out in my head how I want to do it to keep it nice and organized. Because, yeah, all the wiring and spacing. Jeff over at Pinball Pent was going, just get all new socket, light sockets and everything. We could do that. He's like, get all new of that stuff. So I mean, if we're already one time and one time only running the ground wires for the lights, geez, yeah, that's a lot of yeah, it's a lot of soldering, a lot of stapling. I mean, I'm not going to do it in a day. I'm going to take my time, do it right, thousand pictures, map everything out with tape. But yeah, we can do new sockets too. Maybe you can do it. Take your time, do it right. You can do it. We are going to do it the exact way. Do it right tonight. Way. But this thing. Huh? Wait, April, what are you doing here? Just hanging out. <laughs> Aren't you? Just hanging Supposed out. You're working. Know. All right, so there's that. So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful thing. And then the other $800 thing is for video games. And I'm ordering stencils next week on <coughs> Star Trek. You. Yeah, You're not ordering stencils for Star Trek? You're ordering stencils for Star Trek? Uh, Superman's already on the way. I'm ordering Star Trek stencils. Okay, so Superman stencils. Uh, we're not done with, we haven't started the Superman yet. Uh, so he just ordered the stencils for Super, or, or he's ordering the stencils for Star Trek. We ordered the stencils for Superman. Um, while the play field is out of Superman, so he can do all that, I'll do all the extra stuff, uh, cleaning up all the, uh, stuff, things in there. There's, uh, I, I gotta get new flippers for Superman, because some of them broke. They're not lined up. Uh, pop bumpers and stuff. There's just little things to do on Superman, at least on the inside. On the outside, yeah, Brent's got to do his whole body work, and we're going to do the whole uh, stencils, and it'll look beautiful, and we'll have it out, and you can see all the beautiness of that. And then we're going to do the spaceship, too, and then Star Trek. Spaceship, again, will be a electromechanical. We'll get back into that. Um, how long have we had this game on? And it's still working. <laughs> Let's, uh, I don't think the balls are in it. No, they're not. Let's see what happens. Maybe we can kind of fake it. Superman, I can start doing the body work on the cabinet right now, but... But what? You got other things to do? <laughs> yeah, it's the age-old problem. Like, you get you, you have partially done projects from a couple of months ago, and then the new thing comes, and that you get excited for the new thing, but... Oh, I'll just leave that down there. we got to wait on Superman until we do Devil's Dare and Smash TV. And yeah. Hyperball. So, unfortunately, we... I mean, fortunately and unfortunately, we got a line. <laughs> yep. Um, so it'll be Hyperball, Devil's Dare, and Smash TV. Then Superman. Then probably Spaceship. And then Star Trek. Well, and we've got to squeeze Baby Pack in there somewhere. Oh, yeah. Well, Baby Pack was in the mix, and then it stopped being in the mix. Well, Daniel said, well, I want to do that one to be next. And it's like, well. I did, but then we got a Superman and the Spaceship. It came out of nowhere. It was unexpected. Where did I do with the, and the dogs? Superman oh, came with a dog. Oh, yeah. Brent went to pick up the Superman, and he came back with a dog. You got your puppy on your on your phone? I got my puppy. Let's show Brent's puppy that he got. It's like you buy a pinball machine, you get a free puppy. <laughs> Here, I'll get you. You got, just zoom in on that camera. There you go. Oh, yeah, Look at Brent's baby. doggy. Oh. Brent got that puppy. His name's Lola. 
I forget how to spell Lola. How do you spell Lola? Hello, Lola. You're, supp- oh, yeah, you're supposed to sing the song. And then Hello, Lola. Lola. No, don't sing it. We'll get in trouble. It was a joke. Don't sing it. So, yeah, we got to squeeze baby, baby Pac Man in there somewhere. We, should... we didn't get the overlay already, did we? We no. didn't get any of the stuff for Baby Pac Man other than the flipper kit and the light kit. Yeah, that you the got. light kit, yeah. And then I got to rebuild it and decide whether or not we're going to put the CRT back in it or do LCD. Yeah. Lots of decisions. Well, I'm just going to wing it on the cabinet and use your uh, Fantones to eyeball it and then go down there and go here, give me this color. All right, let's see, uh, put some balls back in here and let's just fire it for a while and maybe we can get the displays to screw up again. Man, I want that to screw up. I know, it's like, I want to play this so it breaks. Uh, what do you expect? Uh, These are the balls that go in it. It's not quiet at all. I think you need me in the background of the stream playing that Star Wars machine back there. Get your butt over here, man. Mm-hmm. You want to play? You want to play it? I mean, you can't play it with the sound on right now because you know Star Wars theme. And it's got some moderate upgrades. Yeah. It's got side blades. It's got LED kit. It's got a little Darth Maul on the top, looking down at you like he wants to, you know, fight or something. Yeah. Turn the games on. nice having that too when you're uh you have your own arcade and you can set up the wiring and turn all the games on with the switch disregard that sound coming from johnny mnemonic it's not a problem just don't play it yet yeah all. awesome there you go the star wars back there just the uh and darth maul's lit up just not right now yeah we have a light for darth maul but it's not on right now uh okay well Let's see if we can turn this on and fire the gun and see what happens. Is that working right? That's working right. Two credits. is stupid I think I need to adjust this over a little bit to line the hole be- up better with the uh, shooter ooh that's not good where's those metal pieces but hey look <laughs> it's kind of working alright so I think I'm going to line this I, there's a little bit of a spacing thing you can do Oh, that was not even... I don't even have the screw in that one. Boy, I didn't think this through, did I? 
All right, let's do that. One last fire when you shut it off. It's also going to be a good thing turning it on and off again. Maybe it'll trigger the problem. Maybe the game felt threatened because there was a new game showing up before this one got fixed. Like all of a sudden there's a, a Superman and we're playing it and Hyperball's like, dude. And then we get a spaceship and we're ogling that and Hyperball's like, dude. This is probably not a good idea to do. Oh, there we go. Is that what I want? That way? Trying to line up this. This got a slightly adjustable lead on this part. So I want to line it up so that I think it's sometimes getting, the ball's getting stuck in the turn. So maybe that'll help. Turn it back on, turn it back off. Oh, that's not going to work because, there we go. Williams, electronics, that's working, that's working. I think I'm going to replace uh, these switches on here. I know this isn't how they're supposed to be, but since I got those switches in the mail that weren't quite right, I think I'll replace these ones because I don't think some of these are working right. Don't put your face down there. There's a metal plate that goes right here, and my balls, not not to be saying something, but my balls are jumping. I don't want my balls to jump. It's an unfortunate thing. Careful. Oh. Also, where is it at? He's just the plastics. Dang it, Brett. Well, I don't know what he did with the metal pieces, so I just got to be careful right here because the balls want to jump out there. There's metal uh, frames that go on top of here before the plastic. Out of credits. Let's get some credits. Let's see if we can get it to work. Uh, it seems like 
done with this without firing the gun? Actually doesn't feel too bad. It doesn't feel. Yeah, there is some warmth going on here. But it's not too too bad right there. I mean maybe a little bit longer. I need to not have that happen. Okay, well, oh, that is a thing. It's a good thing and it's a frustrating thing. But mo oh my gosh, how dirty this gets so quickly. There's a ball back here. I need to find what he did with the metal pieces, but he's not over here to tell me what he did with them. Let's see if that's all of them. It also sounds like all of the balls are uh, going back up. This is not the easiest thing to play with no controller. It looks good though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, one, two, three, four, five, six, fifty six. It should be fifty five, but still. It's feeding all the balls back up. The displays are working. What the crap? Huh. Let's see here. Uh, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> that was very unexpected that this thing is working. Coil's not overheated. Huh. Maybe something was loose and I tightened it, or maybe something is... Man, I hate it when it has a problem and then it fixes itself. All right, so we're also going to do, I think we're going to build a, have a electromechanical section in the arcade uh, once it opens. Because I, if I can get Spaceship done, we'll have four electromechanicals so we can put them uh, side by side or something. That'd be kind of cool. Super retro area. Well, hell, um, what else should I be doing right now? Should I drag a game over and play it, or should I do... Oh, maybe I can pull out... We're going to kind of put Spaceship away, but let me see if I can find it. Well, crap. How about... Since this is kind of working right now, and I gotta wait for the uh, control panel from Brent, how about I grab Spaceship, and maybe we can wire in um, a new power cord or something, and at least check it out. 1961 Spaceship. How about we do that? Because this is, to my surprise, this thing is kind of working.
fucking say? Not what I expected at all. Stay in there. Stay in there. Stay there. You come up here. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do this. Spaceship's really cool. Um, apparently, it's the last one Williams did uh, that was has a lighted scoreboard that's not uh, numbers. It just uses lights. Hyperball, you're wasting my time, man. You're not supposed to just work. change out the legs on Hyperball too. Brent's not going to like that I'm, I'm grabbing this, but I don't really care what Brent thinks right now. I'm going to, ooh, that's the wrong, wrong one. There we go. Let me go grab Spaceship. First of all, it's in pretty good shape. There we go. Let me swing that back here. Give you a quick shot of the back part right now. For a second, the only thing that I saw back here is this uh, coil for the chime has fallen off and the plunger is missing. So we're going to have to get a new plunger and resecure this back on. Uh, everything in here looks pretty clean. Uh, these relays, we'll go over all that stuff. Look at this big bad boy, 100,000s unit. Giant bell. Uh, we got some steppers going on. Yeah. Oh, 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 come over this way. Let's see what's going on. Uh, I kind of have to leave it this way first to get the glass off. Yes, I do. Where's my mat? And my mat so that we don't break the glass. Don't want to break the glass. These are Brent's paints. Don't really care. Oh yeah. The lock bar has wing nuts to uh, hold the lock bar on. But we do get one of those little things from the Mayfair that we liked, or at least Brent likes. It has the manual ball uh, loading thing. Oh, come on. Slide out, buddy. There we go. Uh, scratchy sounds. I don't like that. I think we're going to get some new glass made. Right, here we go. Look at that guy. Look how pretty that is. We got this uh, in Las Cruces. Ah. 
Might as well turn off the hyperball thing because it's not hyperball anymore. Turn that off. Turn that off. There we go. It's not hyperball anymore. It is this guy, spaceship. So the back, Brent said the guy turned it on and he said you can see cracks in the back glass, but from here without any lights, everything looks really good. Let's see what we got going on there. So kind of like the Mayfair, we got these flippers that are a mile apart. This one is sitting too low, so it's kind of made a, a gouge in the uh, paint here, which we got to fix. Um, get some touch-up paints. We have some rollover buttons. We have these drop tubes right here. We have, look at these pop bumper caps. These things are freaking cool looking. Jet. This is super retro right there. That is gorgeous looking cap. Yeah, the paint's coming off a little bit, but that's no big deal. We can fix that. But it is, these caps are freaking nice. All the plastics, um, they may be warped a little bit in some places, but all the plastics are good. You got purple plastics, green, blue, yellow, red. There's so many different colors going on on this thing. Especially that look, all these uh, down here. You got all the freaking colors here. That's so awesome. Green, purple. Um, the the apron is beautiful. We just got look. There's common wear stuff. Look around the uh, inserts. That kind of thing. No big deal. We will paint those. But the biggest thing is to get this thing going is this bad boy right here. Even though the previous owner turned it on, I refuse to turn this on until I replace this power cord. So, since Hyperball decided to be a good boy, maybe I will just do that. Replace the power cord and ground it. Do some groundwork. Um, but yeah, isn't it pretty though? Look at that. I'm not sure what all works, what doesn't work, but Brent said they played it. Um, they also said it didn't start for like five minutes and then it came on, which gets me thinking things. Like that shouldn't be an issue with electromechanicals. Uh, it also holds five balls. It's got a, a, a trough in it to hold five balls. Bring that up here. Oh, look at that relay bank on the bottom. This is your big old relay bank. It's about, I would say, a third of the size of the one in OXL, but essentially the exact same deal. Freaking giant reset thing. Uh, bottom looks fairly clean. Our trough is fairly dirty. All five balls here, I took them out. We will replace those. Um, the other thing I noticed is it doesn't have the little jacks for the, uh, the coin adjust. There's a little light here by the total plays. That's interesting. Flippers obviously need to work. They are very dirty. Uh, I wouldn't doubt that a lot of this is original. We'll see if we get, yeah, there's a lot of metal. There's metal uh, coil sleeves in here. Yeah, when you drop the ball down the center, it can go down this trough. Lights and stuff, it's pretty freaking cool. Let me get these Jones plugs. that Jones plug. I was not there to take this apart, so this one doesn't go there. Okay. This is the one that goes to the back box off the play field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the play field out. 
uh, in a second until it went. Let me find a. Ooh, that's not good. Let me find a place to put it. Gonna have some of our play field music. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Still gotta put that in for Hyperball. Jeez. I need to get on Brent though for he's he's cleaning the place up which is great but I need to get the uh, the handles for the controls for Hyperball done and that's his job. All right, Jones plugs out. Let's look at them. Fairly dirty. We're gonna have to clean these Jones plugs. That's to be expected. All right, so this guy here, I'm guessing this is not the lightest thing in the world. There's so much going on on the bottom here. Uh, let me be careful. All right. Carefully lift it out. Oh, it's not horrible. Man, it's heavy, but not horrible heavy. Stop it up now. Okay. Whew. Playfield is there. Oh, look. Yay. That's what I was looking for. It's the plunger. Let's clean that up. That's good. So that means I just got to screw it back on. Nice. I don't have to buy a plunger. Yay for simple things. We definitely need a coin box though. All right, this, I don't know where that went. There's a screw and some washers, screws and washers. This is why I never turn anything on at the beginning. What did my, where did my headlamp go? Do I even have it over here? I've been doing so much work next door and so much work like today I was fixing our vent I had to fix our window next door our automatic window so there's a lot of things I haven't get done but all right here's our power cord paracord power cord we're also going to run a ground wire so we got to run a ground wire off of the transformer Um, let's remember though, even though that's a two, uh, two prongs, you know, it's two prongs, it still has indications of left and right. So this is the ribbed side, I guess it's not very ribbed, but it's the ribbed side. And this is the smooth side. But when we line it up, when we run the new wires, the black one is supposed to go through the fuse. And the white one, right? Black one goes through the fuse, and the white one comes up here. And then the green wire, we just gotta, we gotta create a ground, starting with the transformer. And then where else are we gonna put a ground? Um, we're gonna run the ground up along these rails. I gotta run the ground behind here. Yeah. So let me get back here real quick. I don't need the uh, thing to take this out, but I need it to. It's all the stuff that I don't like. Like these wires have, were put together with uh, electrical tape. I don't like that. I also need to check the fuses, make sure we got the right fuses. here oh look there is a ground no that's not a ground that's just the power what is that so we have one going to here 
115 volt. And then one of these has to go to the fuse, but there's no, oh yeah, I got to put in a switch. There's no switch. I also got to get the schematics because there's no schematics. least thing I can do is take this guy out. Let me get my camera first. Where's my phone? There it is. We'll do a little bit. I mean, I can't do a lot. I need to figure out which one of these. Oh, they got the uh, label. Here we go. Uh, general illumination, right? Playfield lights, insert lights, low line. There's 110 volt. There we go. So we're going to have to trace back the fuse. And then we're going to have to put a switch on it, which is way up here. All the fuses are up here. We also need to make sure they're the right fuses. I don't ever trust a game to be perfect when I give it. What is going on here? Just taking this out. There we go. That one's out of there. I'll put this back in because I don't know if I'm going to get through all this here tonight. I don't want to lose any pieces. I don't want to lose any pieces. I thought I was going to be doing a lot more work on Hyperball. I really did. So now, waiting till we get the control panel. Also, I've been practicing. Last night I turned on Jurassic Park and I've been trying to practice controlling the ball. Because I think that's my main issue is getting the ball controlled to get me to get me to play better basically because I don't feel I'm playing very well. I feel I suck. Because I kind of do. What is this? Oh. Lamp cord with an outlet on it. Little mini outlet on lamp cord. <sighs> Whatever. So I'm thinking the white one goes here, and then the this one. What's the wire here? Comes off. Yeah. So this one right here is where the fuse is. So that's where we're gonna have to put our switch too. Oh, where is my freaking headlamp? Oh, there's one. Sorry, excuse me. I'm blue. There we go. A, at least it's a headlamp. All right, so this goes to this brown wire. I guarantee goes down to here. And I have a switch, right? I bought a switch when we were doing Hyperball, so I think I have a spare switch. So this will be the black. Let me see if we can zoom in here. Too far, you're not gonna see that. Well, anyway, we're over here. So the black wire will be right here on this, and the white wire will be up here on the transformer. Right? White. Neutral. Because it's got to go through the fuse. No. Or over here. This is where zero, 115. Anyway, we're not going to get to that point today, I don't think. Look at this guy. This is a, uh, look at that Jones plug. I don't know if you can tell how dirty that is. It is super dirty too. All right, so Jones plug, here we are. And my switches, power switch, excuse me camera. Uh, I got a 
reach through things to get things. Welcome to my home. So yeah, we got a new power switch. This was bought before I even knew this game was going to come. Uh, I should probably get a plate too, because I don't think this is going to go directly into the wood. It's got screw on terminals, but I think I can just solder it on there. On off. Alright, switch. Um, when all else fails, you go back to the pin side thing. The, the, uh, pin side has the uh, wiring uh, electromechanical. And I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing, but it's always good to go back. Um, ground wire to the EM pinball. Make sure I get to the right one, because uh, vid, I guess it's who put it on there. I know, here's the write up. There we go. Replacing line, line cords. All right, any voltage, here we go. First run through North American, blah, blah, blah. Plug damage, prong missing, two prong. Safety ground has been defeated, blah, blah, blah. Game like this, you'll feel electric shock, needs to be fixed. Your game is not a commercial environment. You are not allowed to just replace the plug. You must replace the whole cord. Yep, yep, yep. Green. Ground, white or neutral, silver. Brass is black or hot. So the white one, why is this on this side then of the transformer? That's weird. Cut the old plug off, cord and discard. Don't take the old plug apart, try to save an inch of wire, no. New, new wire. Somewhere on the new plug, there's a strip gauge that lets you know how much jack, blah, blah, blah. Power play plug, we need to put it in a binding tape. You'll see cleanly. Wait, my cord doesn't have any color, blah, blah, blah. You replace the cord. Uh, again, strip gauge. Place the copper conductors. What? I know, what hyperbolic got, what? But look what I found inside. Inside of what? In here. What? You know what that is? No. That's the plunger I needed for the bell in the back. Oh. But I gotta rewire this to be safe. Is that a bulb? Why would. Well, sometimes, well, it's not gonna matter for this one, but this is probably just to light this up. But sometimes, like in the Black Pyramid, there's that bulb underneath. Yeah, for like. That's actually part of the mechanism. It's to keep, I don't know, a certain voltage or something. Look at that bad boy. Yeah. Wow. So we're going to put... Surprisingly, not off. that much in here. Down there. Look over there. Oh. Yeah. It's all on the plate field. Oh. Yeah. So that's... I don't know why this isn't all loading right. We went antiquing a couple of weeks ago. It's replacing the entire cord. What? This machine. This is not antiquing. It's, you know, it's, it is what it is. 1961, is that an antique? Technically. Yeah. I like the graphics. Now what? Why aren't any of the pictures showing? I don't need pictures, but I just need the pictures to show because I like pictures. There we go. EM. That's what I wanted. The black hot wire goes from the new cord, goes to the fuse. The white wire goes to whatever the spot the old ribbed wire went to. So this is the ribbed wire, right? Yeah. For your pleasure. Okay, so that is, I thought it was just only beyond that. So what Vid's saying is wherever the, the ribbed wire went, that's where the white one goes. So it is going to go there. Black one's gonna go here, that goes to the fuse, and from the fuse, 
Um, I'm going to put in a switch. So we're going to have a power switch. Switchy switch. Okay. But it also means that I need some sort of plate to mount this underneath so that there's something to grip onto. And I might have a metal one from an old Pac-Man game that I can use. Is that okay? Bye bye me, brother. Where do you want the switch? Down here? You want it back here? Usually the switches are right here, right? I would put it right there. Yeah, just underneath this part. So, all right, so that was the big thing I was wondering about because this is not on zero, this is on the 115 side, but that does not matter. And I have to run a ground wire through all of this. Your ball trough, look at the ball trough. I know. Ew! That's why I said look at it, ew! He's gonna make me clean that. I'm gonna make you clean that. Cool game though, how fun. Yeah. And fairly rare. They only so made 800 and how many survived? Yeah, there's only 800 of these at the beginning. And that's 1961. Alright. Oh, beefy. Well, extension cord. Alright, now that I'm not confused anymore. I was pretty sure I knew what I was doing, but now I'm really sure I know what I'm doing. Cut that off. Pull that out. No. Bye bye two prong plug. Still have to do some touch up on this bad. You're a touch up. Mm. Oh wait. Well yeah, but I just want to be able to power it on safely. That's all I want to do. Uh I gotta I gotta I gotta loosen the back box. Uh where is my stuff? This is the most exciting thing you could ever do. I want to have so many. Oh, I want an electromechanical electromechanical section. Okay. It's like where are they at? Oh, they're by the EMs. Okay. I just want to go through the decades. Just line them up. 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s. 2010s. 2020s. So you got, you got to get one from the 50s, and then get one in, in, eight, in nine years when it's 2030, and then we'll have like eight decades represented. But when's the first, what was the first flipper game? That was in the 40s though, right? We can get 40s. So. Yeah. Well, hey, I'd get, I'd get one without flippers. Just to have the decade represented. It'd be, it'd be nice to have like a century represented. Yeah, a pinball. Yeah. Alright. Just trying to loosen this. I don't want to undo it. There we go. Should be loose enough to get my cord through without dropping the back box. Yeah. take it off. Lovely. I didn't think this through, did I? Be careful. I know. Don't let it fall. Let it fall. I, I just said that. Don't let it fall. I walk. Hey. Hey, thank you, Fatwood, for thir the 1377. Appreciate it. just paid for the power cord at least. <laughs> That's all of it, right? Ooh. Wow, what I gotta do? That one's undone. That one's undone. That one's undone. I know the human has been neutralized. Thank you. Oh. We're just going to be very careful and set the back box right here. Still got to hold on to it because it is top heavy. Don't fall over. Oh, 
oh, found another nut back here. Oh. Okay. Well, I just ran into another little problem. So we're going to tip this over here so it doesn't fall. Right there. Okay. The other new little problem that I found <laughs> back here. Will it stay? All right, so this is where I'm putting the cord in. There is not a lot of space right here. So I need to make sure that I, uh, I might have to file this out a little bit. But first I need to make sure I've got enough wire. Oh no, I think I can push it in here. Without causing damage? Oh, without causing damage. Oh, well, no. I might have to wallow this out just a little bit. A little bit more of a notch. Hey, there's the other screw. Ooh, I'm finding all the screws for the, uh, the chime. Yeah, yeah. Parts galore. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, I need a file. Do I have a file? You are safe with me. You are safe with me. Or a fat enough drill bit, maybe? I think a file would be safer. Or sandpaper. I'm pretty sure Brent's got a file. Give me just one second. It's okay that it's tight because we don't want it to be pulled out. Put this file back. I also need to make sure that it's long enough. We got plenty of wire, so let's make sure we got plenty in here. That'll be good right there. So from there, I want to tie a little knot in the wire so it doesn't want to fall out. Which, this is a pretty high gauge wire here. Just in case somebody pulls it the wrong way. There we go, just a little knot. This is what I put in the Mayfair. I put this little knot in the Mayfair and I told the guy to pull it out to the knot and he didn't do that and he left all the wires on top of the relays and almost broke the Mayfair again. I'm like, no, 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 you gotta pull the wire out. All right, this give me long enough? Yeah, that's plenty of wire. There we go, so that gives us a nice, Length, 
Let's put the back box back on. But before I do, I have only three bolts here. So hopefully my back box bolts that I bought are big enough. Back box, back box bolts and washers. Bought all these at the Home Depot. Might not be long enough, but we will find out, won't we? Because I want to have four, not uh, not three. If not, I might have to get a longer one. And I don't know if that's going to fit. I might have to get a longer one. It's okay. Unlike electronic stores, we at least have a Home Depot. We can deal with it. Let's bring the back box back up. Bring the back box back up now. Oh. Bring it back. Bring him back to sexy. I probably shouldn't say phrases like that. There is nothing. Ugh. When you're trying to line these things up, usually they're flat up against the back, so there shouldn't be a gap. Usually. I could be wrong. Yes, yes. I need a longer bolt. Well, at least it's not going to fall out now. I don't know what's holding on that other chime. Maybe it's just stuck from age. I am also going to need my soldering iron, right? And we're going to need a clip to do the ground wire. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. I had to check anyway. Where is the wrench? Right here. Also gonna need my grounding wire, grounding strap and staples, staple gun. There's also these early electromechanicals here have metal flipper buttons. And remember, all this stuff is only separated by little pieces of fish paper, which we gotta make sure all that's intact. So yeah, all of the, uh, here's the uh, flipper button. Sorry, I don't know what I pushed, but I pushed something. So these are metal flipper buttons, and you can get a shock by that if you know none of this is grounded and your thing is out. We also have the manual ball launch, ball lift, which is awesome. We like that from the Mayfair, and at least we get to have one. And it's not a Gottlieb, so sometimes that's a good thing. All right. There's the end of that wire. We now have this one. It gives us plenty of room. I'm gonna strip it a little bit. I'm gonna need to get my soldering iron uh, heating up. Ow. That was my leg. Soldering iron. Uh, 
extension cord is over here. I don't think I planned this through. It's as if I was uh, planning on doing hyperball and then this happened. Get your extension on. Get your extension on. Extension on. And don't burn your foot with the soldering iron. All right. Uh, let's strip this a little bit. Strip in it just a little bit. I saw a thought I had a razor blade. I thought I saw one. Oh, there one. There it is. There she blows. Stripping the wires. Kind of cutting it very gently. And I usually start kind of around the uh, ground wire. So I don't want to accidentally get into the white and black wire. Carefully, very carefully. Don't go too deep. Mm. Powdery goodness. Electrical cords, part of your complete breakfast. a little bit of space. Do not cut the cord. That always sucks. So these didn't have a power switch on them in the early 60s. So what happens was that the operator would plug it in and I don't think this one has the left button switch. Uh, but it does have a kickoff. So you punch it from underneath the cabinet and it would shut off the machine. Um, but not really shut off the machine. So your transformer would still be on. But we want to actually shut it off off. So after we get this, we're gonna to have to figure out how to get that switch wired in. As long as I got enough here. So all I'm trying to do is that, that, and that. So. I think that's enough here, and I'll just cut off this excess. Cutting off the excess. There we go. That, that, and that. All right. I don't think the people are going to understand the importance of me making it safe to play. Hopefully this cord fits in it. It's a lot fatter than the old one. Uh, may not fit under this. I can get it. I can screw it back down. I can do it. All right, we're not gonna do that yet. <laughs> or if anything, actually, how about I do this? How about I just zip tie it to that? That would be better. Instead of trying to get underneath there, I should just zip tie it. Good thinking, Ace, thanks. We 
also I can get a clip for the ground wire while we're waiting for things to heat up. Let's do a blue one. So when you, even when I put the ground wire on, nothing is grounded except the transformer. So I have to make sure I get the rest of the machine done. These rails are super important. Um, trying to figure out the path, the path that I want to take for all this. I may have to take a couple straps off so I can get all the way around. So one to come up to the rails and then maybe another one to come around to all this stuff in the front, coin door and things like that. The other, the other games that I had that were electromechanical at least had, uh, the rest of it was grounded, it just didn't have a ground wire to go to the uh, Thing. Where I'm looking for all my tools because I had to use them next door and now I'm not quite sure where they all are. Oh my goodness, where is my tools of planning? Oh, there it is. It's on the floor. Put it on the floor. Let's take the sleeve off. Come here, sleeve. Come here, sleeve. Ooh, sounds like a douchebag outside. Here, my thing, it's really, really loud. I am more important than you. Oh, hey, smarty pants. That burning sensation is your foot. So don't set your foot on fire because the soldering iron's by your foot. That would have been dumb. Is dumb. Was dumb. Smells pretty bad now. What smells like burning rubber? Oh, that would be my foot. that slide this guy back up if we can get it on there maybe not no big deal if we can't yeah no big deal if we can't so this is going to go underneath that foot and then we're going to test it for ground all right well we know we're hot enough since we're melting shoes. Let's take this wire off. There we go. That is the end of that wire. It's barely ribbed. Barely ribbed. I gotta put that guy back on there too. <laughs> Alright, stay there. Now, question. Since I already have these two wires to connect, 
Should I just run the switch off of that? So instead of way over here, run the switch. No, it'd probably be easier to do it over by the switch switch. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's not make it complex. It doesn't have to be complex. I need some solder. That's there. Don't breathe the solder. And let's get. Is that light on? It is on. Let's get some solder on here. Not enough. Like this. Now, I want to get my thing here. And then, oops, sorry. Take this off, this nut off, which means I need a driver. I need a driver. Ow. Am I going to get lucky? Is it the one that's already on here? Probably not. It is. Oh my gosh. I did get lucky. It's not coming off the bottom. We're not coming off the uh, screw under there. Nope, it's turning. That's lovely. Oh, I don't want to take that off. Oh, I might have to take the whole playfield up or base up. I should have known this wasn't going to be easy. Should have been freaking simple. All right, so there's 
these bolts that hold this base onto the cabinet. So now I'm going to take that off so I can lift it up hopefully a little bit. Maybe I'll tilt it sideways. I can. That's it. That's all I needed. Mm -hmm. Unscrewing that. We're going to slide our ground wire on there. Put this nut back on. I'm not going to reattach this yet because I'm going to have to run uh, grounding straps off of here, assuming I get continuity. So obviously those are going to be a big pain in my butt. So what are we looking for? Now I'm grabbing the end right here, ground wire. I think there's a coating on here, yeah. So if I get this coating off. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make sure to rub this coating off of here. So we're at least grounded to the transformer right now. So that's good. Hey, we accomplished something. This is the other thing here. Let's show you this. It's this little ad adapter plug thing. And you just crimp onto the wire and you can just plug something else in here. I don't recommend those for anything. Now, all right. So again, I'm not gonna unplug, I'm not gonna screw this back down yet because I need to get Grounding straps over here, but I should map it out how I want to do it. And where is it? Excuse me. It's going to require that and that. So basically, the next thing we'll be doing is we'll have the ground strap, and I will ground the rails and the coin door and the ball lift, everything, uh, probably the legs too, at least the front legs. Ground all that stuff and you staple it to the cabinet. Um, I found this out with the Mayfair, be careful not to run your ground strap where it can get in the way of the play field. So we're gonna make sure we stay underneath this, not the top. Um, so I'll do that. Uh, I need to drag out a plate for that switch. But the main part, like if I were to plug it in right now, which I'm not going to, it should just be like it was. Um, but hey, at least I got to fix something. It wasn't the hyperball. I'm going to drag the hyperball back over here again to make sure uh, it's still working. And then we'll 
I'll figure out what Brent's going to do about uh, getting the control panel done for Hyperball. So we'll kind of go back and forth in between these things because the problem is I can move pretty fast on this stuff, but Brent can't. So his part, and we're doing this as a team, his part takes a little bit of time, so I have to try to do something else while he's doing the other things. And I don't want to push him too much because he does do a lot. Um, and I don't want to do it for him. I don't want to do it because I want him to be participating too. So it's just going to be a lot of back and forth, really. There's a lot of wear on that. Get distracted a little bit. Still looks beautiful, though. I would, I would take this back, back box home for dinner. Look at that guy. Also, the, the beautiful thing I like, too, is that all this, the uh, astronauts are women. So even on the play field, the astronauts are women. Look at that. Pretty, pretty. Oh, that one says hyperball, too. Well, screw what that says. You gotta turn that stuff off. There we go. So yeah, all this, and the what it does is there's no score reels, so it lights the scores with lights. So in here are your thousands. Around the ring are your hundreds of thousands, and here are the millions. This game can score up to 8,900,090, 990,000 is what it can score. That's freaking awesome for an early game to have a score that high. It's all relative anyway, whatever you want it to be. But still pretty awesome. Um, so I think I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do the grounding strap tomorrow. Uh, I'll remount the, the uh, whatchamadilly? <laughs> the bell, the plunger for the bell. I'll remount that. And then maybe we'll put the play field back in and just see where we're at. This, you know, I don't want to mess with anything, clean anything until we see where we're at, even though I still have to clean all of it. Pretty good, 1961. So anyway, I think that's it. I think that's it for today. I thought it was going to be a lot more work with the Hyperball, but apparently not. So we'll do that a little bit later. I'm going to take some time off tonight, do some exercising because I'm trying to get my weight down, I'm tired of being so fat all the time. Um, and we'll come back at it tomorrow. Got to get these games done. We never know when we're going to open up again. So we've got to get as many games as possible. Alamo Gordo is really going to enjoy our arcade. And they're going to love being able to go out and do something one day. But uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Anybody that was lurking, thank you for hanging out. Uh, anytime that I'm on here, feel free to talk, ask me questions. I don't care. I'm willing to chat, but at least we accomplished something. We got a little bit done on a new game, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. We'll do some work after then. So take care, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. See you later.